seen you on the beat. Say what? I just see you on that movie, The Beat. And, no, uh, no, you're talking about Beat Street. Beat Street and break dancing. Oh, no, 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 no. Beat Street and breaking. Get it right, Chris. Breaking. <laughs> <laughs> breaking. With, tur- exactly. with, with the, what's, this, what's this guy's name? Turbo. No. Turbo. No. Street cred check. No. Street cred <laughs> check me. <laughs> Turbo. <laughs> that was the shit, though, right? That was. That was, like that was. better. That was better than fighting. That stuff. I know, right? You get to. You get, that's what. <laughs> and we and we copied that in Germany. We went to the clubs, man, and we started staring, staring each other yeah, down. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he copied I everything. Didn't catch what you guys looking at me all crazy for? <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. <clears throat> just go ahead, awesome. go around and do a somersault. That's like a punch. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> What's up, Samson? Samson, Samson, if you if you can uh, bring your phone down a little bit, and we can see more than your nose and your, and your oh, here we go. We want to see the body too. Samson. There you go. What's hey, up? Uh, huh? You look mean in the dark. <laughs> can, can, Samson, can you hear us? Connecting. It's coming. Mm. It's very concentrated and mean. And he's flipping off somebody. <laughs> yeah, it's... Oh, shit. Yeah, Chris, turn your phone down a little bit. Got to put it on. Put it on work. Yeah. You can hear us. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Oh, okay. okay. There we go. What's up, champ? How's it going? How's it going? It's going great. It's going great. How are you doing, man? Look at you. I can see your face already sucked in. That's that's early yeah. for you. Uh, huh? Yeah, it's going good. It's going good. It's going good? Yeah. Well, it's as good as it can be. <laughs> Milos, are you happy with him? More than happy, yeah, of course. Uh, listen, uh, I had this... Uh, the. Privilege to see the video on Saturday, right? And I was like, oh, hell, hell yeah. But then, you know, the stupid me, I, I, of course, I had to be coach. And, it's, and I, we need to go, we need to go, we need to go. And he goes like, Milos, you know, uh, did you see the video? I said, yes, I did. So, yes. so end of the story. You know, because uh, you guys, of course, you want to all agree that Samson, in the best condition of his life, has, a, you know, great potential to win. So you huge, to, huge potential. Yeah, yeah, and I know how it is, but but there's uh, Samson would tell me, yeah, water is wet. Uh, you know, tell me something else I don't know, right? You know, yeah. so we all know, and uh, uh, I I get over too excited, and and then uh, last time I discussed with uh, Samson, you put it this way, uh, Samson is with Marlena, his wife. Th- there was his coach for a long time. Uh, a lot of people don't give her a credit. And you know how we are? We think like, ah, what does woman know, right? Yeah. This, this is usually how, how you know, we think. But even, even before I started working with Samson, uh, I talked to Mauro, Mauro Sassi, who is a coach, and he knows, and he goes, uh, did you meet uh, Marlena, his wife? I mean, you know, uh, she she has a down. She has an eye. She goes to the contest and all that stuff. And let me tell you, Marlena is the uh, you know, biggest part of the team. I mean, uh, I go back and forth with her. Yeah. Uh, Samson uh, trusts her probably even more than me, <laughs> which is... Now, because, because he's on the floor, you know, I mean, like, yeah. it's like you're having your coach leaving with you. She checks everything. Like, when I'm going to die, there's no food in the house that I'm not allowed to eat. We don't keep anything in the house. She watches me 24-7. She sees everything that I do. She knows every part of it. So it's like you're living with a coach that... You know, Milos tells her, okay, this is what we need to do for this week. And she implements it every single day. Mm. And when you have somebody that lives with you that is on you, everything, all your training sessions, there's no slipping. No point in your diet do you slip off. You know, it's it's like you know that, okay, you have that security. You have your team around you that they, they want to see you do your best, you know. So that's why, you know, I can relax and say, okay, right, even when I feel messed up and I'm going back to a photo, I don't think I like this, I don't like that. I trust them and they keep me on track. 
and, and she is one of the rare that really she can scan it and sees it right away. The small little details. So, I, I always say I always say this to other athletes too, and even if the wife or the girlfriend is not a coach, I always mm -hmm. tell athletes this: if you want to know what you look like. Ask your girlfriend or your wife. She sees you every day, and if she has, and if she's not scared to tell you what she sees, no. you'll you'll get exactly what you need. Yeah, yeah. Because you know how it is. Sometimes uh, video from the gym, you know, to yeah. the house, to the other place, it's not the same. Mm -hmm. But uh, I, I trust her eyes, and you know, every time when I say first, I say what I think I saw, then I ask her, you know, what she saw. And you know, many times when she gives me that extra insurance, I say, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because she sees him walking to the bathroom naked. You don't. Yeah. So yeah. she can see. <laughs> she will see. Yeah. She will see. Yeah. yeah, she will see details that you don't even see, Samson. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she pays I mean, attention to it. And she would know. I say, listen, yeah. last year, five weeks ago, when you walked to the bathroom, I saw more in your, in your hamstrings and stuff with glutes. Yeah. You know, so I always say, listen to the girlfriend. And you know, because she sees me all that, she's not impressed by, you know, right. people that just see me now and then. You know, she's always seen me at my best and my worst. So mm. when most people I'll strip off and most people are like, whoa, she's like, yeah, I've, I've seen him better. I've seen him better. And she's, she's European. So, you know, they always direct and extreme. Oh, yes, yes. About their criticism, yeah. you know. So, you know, like I said, I always said to people, you know, the reason she got me into this sport in the first place, I was into a, a rugby and playing all that sport. She's the one that drew me into bodybuilding. And, you know, she prepped me and she turned me into a pro. Oh, she really? She brought me all the way. Yeah, wow. she's been prepping me all my life. Until Milo stepped in now, I mean, before John and then Milo, she's been the one that's been prepping me all my life for every single show I've done. So she's seen the evolution of everything. Mm -hmm. so, so, how did you get involved with Milos? And uh, how did how did that all come about then? Basically, when in 2020, well, obviously, the, we had all the COVID and everything else like that. And I started with Hostile. We kind of felt like at that time we felt like okay, you know, I, I joined the hostile and four. I kind of like we were we weren't we're having a year where we kind of felt like we we've maxed out our knowledge of what we knew of how to get me better. So Fua sort of advised me at the time saying, look, I think you guys have done great by yourself. You got this fire by yourself. You know, you've come all this way, but I really do think that you probably need a second eye or someone who can sort of carry you further. And at the time, he recommended we go with John Meadows. So I basically hooked up with John at that time. We started where we worked through the off season in 2021. We were prepping for the Arnold Classic in UK. And that was unfortunately, that's when John passed. And I remember obviously doing the whole conversation, you know, throughout that whole, my whole time with John, he always used to say, oh man, I, sp I spoke to Milos about you, you know, Milos, Milos. And he always used to sort of, sort of kind of communicate with me about, oh, how him and Milos discussed it. So when we kind of at that point, I was thinking about pulling out the show, basically. I was like, look, I can't do this alone. I need, I need another, I need a coach, but I can't do this. And when these people kind of convinced me to carry on going, I said, okay, you know, I need help. So then I was like, okay, you know what? The one person I knew that John trusted, you know, to kind of be his own was Milo. So I was like, okay. So I reached out to Milo and say, look, obviously the situation is this. Um, I'm eight weeks out from the Arnold UK. Seven. Uh, John, John, oh, seven weeks out. Yeah, it was seven weeks out from the Arnold UK. Uh, John just passed away. And, um, you know, he spoke to me about you. I don't know if you know about about can we can we work together and from that point on we linked up and you know the rest just became history like that mm. so if you look at yourself today we are yeah. you know, let's let's a little less than five weeks out from the olympia yeah. if you compare yourself today yeah. to the let's say the olympia five weeks out last year what do you see oh. and what do, what's the difference it's close. I couldn't compare myself to Olympia last year because honestly, the difference is too vast. Okay, then, choo then, then let's, choose, the Arnold. let's choose the Arnold. Let's compare yourself to the Arnold five weeks out. Oh, we're way ahead. Hmm. We're so way ahead. And the good thing is, like we said with Milos, I send him videos every week. So them videos we still have. So it's one thing, obviously, you know, when you're prepping, your eyes probably not work the same way because you just kind of see what you want. But we take both videos five weeks out from now and five weeks out from, you know, where we're in the Arnold. And we put them side by side and we watch every pose, every place in the same places. We're always sending videos from the same light. And we watch every single angle and every single things that we like and we don't like. Well, are we compare with that? And that's how we always know, okay, right, if we are ahead or we're behind or anything. Uh, right now, I mean, we looked today even, I'm more comparable to when I was on Olympia a week out from the Olympia, mm. a week out from the Arnold than I am now. Okay, so now this is a question for you, Samson, not for Milos. Yeah. What... In the last, in how long ago was the Arnold? What was the, make, the, mo the biggest improvement you made that we're going to see 
You're back. Absolutely, you're back. Okay. That sounds that sounds very promising, man. <laughs> because it's one thing, I mean, like I said, we are always taking criticism from the judges after every show. Yeah. Regardless of whether win, lose, or draw, whatever, we always go to the judges and ask for the feedback and say, look, what would you like? Next time I'm going on stage, what would you want to see improved and better? And the one thing they said from the honors like, look, you got to improve on your back. You got to work on your back. Work on the width of your back. You're not necessarily taking it, but we need got to see more width on there. And you got to be a little bit tighter than you were at the Arnold. Mm -hmm. This, and right from the get-go, as soon as we got off that stage, that was our goal. That was what we started working at, you know, and we literally punished ourselves all through that point till now for those two main mm -hmm. goals. We used the off-season to improve one thing and one thing only. The back has to come up. So we made wow. sure that that was a great drive. That's going to tell you a lot, though. If you, you win the Arnold, and you ask the judges, what do I need to get better? And they tell you, you need to improve your back. So you already beat most of the guys that's going to be standing next to you, and you weren't even close to where you are right now. Yeah. So the only, two, the only two people you didn't beat so far which would be Hardy and Derek, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. So that's uh, yeah, that's got to be a motiv motivational kick for anybody right there. It is, it is. It is a big motivation. But, you know, as well, it's not just the idea of the people you got to beat because at the end of the day, when you finally get past those guys, it's what's going to be motivating you then. Yeah. The idea is always to beat the person I was last time I got on stage. Mm -hmm. and I so never want to stand on stage for my last show. And people go, I could see a little bit of change here. There. No, I want it to always be a drastic mm -hmm. shock of, oh, wow, that's not the guy we saw last time. Yeah. And I want that. I mean, this is what happened between the Olympia and the Arnold. And that was 11 weeks difference. Mm -hmm. I want that every single time I'm, I'm on stage to be a completely different physique from every angle. And that's one thing that we always strive for. Samson, I've seen you doing some some dumbbell rows with the uh, incline bench support. How do you like that exercise and have you seen it making any difference difference so far? Yeah, man, it does. I really like it because it then helps me create that middle and lower back thickness, you know. And it's something that, you know, it's something that now, especially in a pose like the back lats, but where you can open up your back completely, but yet still have that lower back thickness popping out. That exercise helped a lot with that. And that's something that is like, yeah, you know, we wanted to make sure that we're complete in that sort of shot. Did, did we accidentally mute it, Milos? Can you check? What? No, he needs to be on the sideline. <laughs> he, 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 he talks to him all the time. Uh, no, but, you know, as a coach, you know, as a coach, you know, first, I mean, this is to both y'all and to your wife, of course. I mean, since I follow you, and, and this is since, what was the year when you did all these shows? Was it 21? 2021. 2021. I follow you since then, where I literally yeah. look at you every time you compete, and every time you stepped on stage, you were better. Absolutely, yeah. and no doubt. And, and probably the biggest improvement you probably made from the Olympia to, to, the, to the Arnold in the 11 weeks. So, yeah. And if you can get better from the, the Arnold to now, and if it's just half as much as you did yeah. from the Olympia to the Arnold, I think, yeah. I think 100% you're going to be a front runner with uh, fighting with those guys. And, 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 and that's, that's just it. I don't think there's yeah. any other way around it if you, have, if you bring the Olympia condition. Oh, yeah. You I know? mean, this is like I said, like, you know, the, for a long time before, you know, they told me, OK, I needed size or I needed this or I needed that. And every single one of them, we tick the boxes, each one. Mm -hmm. And I always make sure that this is one thing I always say, like, I always make sure I get the feedback from the judges to say, because I didn't, they didn't want to judge you. They don't really want to see. So if they say, OK, right, you got enough of that. OK, now we need to see this. Then guess what? That's my focus completely shifts to that. All our focus shifts to that. Okay, that's what they want to see next. So it makes no sense in working on something that they already they don't need to see anymore. Uh -huh. Okay, you work on it, your everything anyway, but the main priority becomes what they ask that they want to see of you. So that way, when you do stand on stage in front of them, they know what they're looking out for. Okay, did he improve what we told him to? And that's the one thing you know that yeah. This is what I want to show you that. Yep, there you go. Yeah. I've been working on it. I did listen to what you said. I think it's also important as, you know, I think winning the Arnold gave you that last little bit of confidence that you really oh. needed to understand and say, listen, I can fucking win the Olympia. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you need a, you need a big title like the Arnold to really believe that you can do it. Yeah. You know what I'm of saying? Of course. 
Milos, yeah, definitely. what yeah. Samson, what Samson can not we, but what Samson can the other competitors expect to walk on that stage in Orlando Saturday, a Friday night? Well, I, I think that he has he's the only one that has the absolute complete package of the size and the shape and a thickness and a width and completeness and the balance and everything. I mean, it's a wow factor, right? He was standing next to a big Rami last year at Olympia. And actually, for the first time, we saw somebody that can match his size almost. You know, that was like, holy shit. Now, going into this year's Olympia, you know, first and second were not are not huge guys. Hadi and Derek are definitely smaller than him. So he's going to overwhelm them in, in that size and then that shave department. When we talk about uh, our favorites, and I know that... Uh, Chris, you said that uh, Lee Haney, you know, is somebody you looked up to. You know, I, we all did. To this day. I'm sorry? To this day. To this day. And <laughs> Lee Haney, I mean, any which way you look at it, I mean, uh, he was a uh, sight to be seen. I mean, when he, uh, you and I watched the Olympia in, in uh, Los Angeles, when he, he turned around and just stood up and it was like, show was over. Once he started posing, <laughs> it was like, Different category. This is how it is. Now, it's not like I'm saying that Samson is in different category. He's going to blow away anybody from the stage. But I think in a time that on the stage is going to be way too visible for eight mandatory poses from quarter turns, from just everything that he is just overwhelming. You know, uh, I know that Dennis, you suspected like, oh, yeah, maybe we're going to come too heavy. And maybe it's not going to be same condition as some of the, the guys. I mean, listen, you guys, of course, are experts and you're seeing certain things. As uh, Marlena and Samson and I already discussed, yeah, water is wet. We heard. We know. Of course, we, we got to go for a little tighter condition than from Arnold Classic. But if you can imagine, Arnold Classic condition was still slam dunk, uh, first place across the board, stay in the middle, don't move. It was quite convincing. It was solid performance, right? Mm -hmm. And now he knows to take over the, the the Olympia, he has to bring something even more special. But, sorry, I'm going to let you guys talk a little bit. Just one, one thing. Well, you we can keep... talk. You can talk. You're also on the on the. I get, too, I, wait, I get way too excited. That's so. okay. We like an excited Milos. But, but here, okay. What is the Samson showing? In all the updates, he's showing his back. Everybody's showing the strength. He's not afraid to show what he's working on. Yes. No, exactly. And he's working on it. And the, the, the strided glues that everybody talking about, we had a little bit of things. I uh, see we're not going for strided glues because, come on, did uh, how many Mr. Olympias did have it and was it necessary? Did Lee Haney have it? Did, did the first seven Mr. Olympias have it? No, nobody had it. You know, and this is this is that stupidity that people are just feeding you. Oh, unless you have a shredded, you're not shredded. You know, many people didn't have it. But Samson competed. This is his 10th show. He moved to the new house. He competed in Egypt, in Prague, in the UK, in the US, you know, you know, in Korea. You know, people don't realize if somebody is consummate professional, here it is. He lives and breathes bodybuilding. I know how it is. And not just that, he now feels it. He can taste it. I mean... Who are we to say, oh, yeah. he has legitimate chance and in going into the show and we really like his chances. I told you in the last prediction, I I'm betting for him to win. I have a great confidence. I know that uh, we are going against some great guys, but uh, ask uh, Samson what he thinks of his chances and probably he's going to tell you the same. Well, I, if I would win the Arnold and beat all the other guys and only had two guys that I haven't beaten yet, I would feel the same. Absolutely. And you should. Because if you wouldn't think that way, it, it, it wouldn't work. No. So that's that's a hundred percent, you know, that's a hundred percent normal, you know. And, and and he he should be confident because he has what it takes. I mean, if you have guys like Lee Haney pointing him out, that would already tell me everything. When was the last I, I, time? I, when was the last time Lee Haney pointed a, a bodybuilder out? I was, hey. I was the last one, I think. Then yeah. So see, but how long? <laughs> and how long ago was that? 30 years, 40 years? Hey, hey so you by, you by you winning the Arnold Classic, Samson, <laughs> do you feel like, okay, I improved. Do you feel like you can improve more oh, from yeah. this point 
get into the uh, Olympia. You and when you look, and when that's the one part, he already you know, answered. He already, he already answered that question, Chris. Okay, but listen, but I want to yeah. answer. When you're making your way to the gym, do you have a different fortitude? Do you have a different mindset? Do you feel? How do you feel going into the gym now with that on your mind, and moving forward towards this Olympia? Uh, well, it, in the past, in the past, because like when I first did my first Olympia last year, it was like it was unknown, it was unpredictable because I wasn't still on stage with most of those guys, and this was my first Olympia. So your training is like okay, I want to train to my best and just see what happens because you don't know, you do, you want to show what you really placed, you know. So you try to bring your best, train to your best, and just see what happens. When you've done it and then you've gone off to win an Arnold after that. Your mindset, it, it, it takes a new leap, man. Mm. You become an absolute animal because you know you're close. It's like this thing they say, you know, when, when you smell blood, it's now you go for the kill. And this is what it feels like. It feels like, okay, if I was able to work that rate last year and go in the first Olympia, I was top six. And then a few weeks later, I went to Arnold. Right now, it just, it just confirmed to me that, okay, yeah. I'm right there. You're so right. you go to the gym. You go to the gym with a with a complete different mindset now. You know that the, the goal is in sight; it's literally right there. So when you go to the gym, you you I want to die in the gym. I'm like, okay, if I'm if that's what's going to take, then that's what's going to take. Let me die in the gym. But I'm going to get this. I'm going to get it done. You know, it doesn't. There's no holding back. There's no half measures. There's no well, you know, rest day is going to take some time. No, it's like okay, let's do this. I'm going to break myself in the gym and make sure that the improvement is blatant when I stand on stage. Yes, I was kind of talking to you and Derek about that in the break room. Remember when we were in uh, Arizona? Like, have a purpose when you go in the gym. Know exactly what you need to do. Know exactly what you need to do to improve. And that's what the mindset you need to have is exactly how you're doing right now. Hmm. Chris, what 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 does the, um, Samson have to bring? What does he have to bring in order to win the Olympia this year? What do you need I, to see? I think it's going to come down to perfect posing as far as you know, when you hit those shots, especially from the back, you had a lot of, uh, you know, people making noise about your back. And uh, I'm glad to see you. Actually, I feel like you're talking less and you're doing more. Uh, and, uh, you know, I like to see that, you know. Um, I like, I would like when you hit that three-quarter back shot, I would like to see you utilize that lower lat the one that's closest to the floor, yeah, extend it more and utilize it more. That's going to make a bigger difference. If you can cut it off sometimes when you yeah. hit that shot, and that's one thing I, I probably brought it up to your, your attention before. Well, uh, but yeah. also, you know, uh, <clears throat> and I also say, you know, when you hit that last spread from the back, it's, it's going to make your waist look 10 times smaller by utilizing your thumbs and everything, you know, oh, yeah. right there at your uh, lat insertion uh, points. Those things are going to make a big difference. You're going to look way bigger from the back. Uh, I see you have put on some more muscle, and I thought that's what you actually needed was actually muscle fibers added to your back. And yeah. we all know what your front uh, entails. So you can hang with anyone from the front. But if you you cut up that and equalize them from the back, then I don't see anyone, you know, basically in the world at, at your level, at your your time and get those striations in the quads, get the, you know, forget about the glutes and everything, but you know, the shape is there. <laughs> the hamstrings. Since we talk about posing though. Popping. Since we talk about posing. Yeah. Do you guys agree that Samson looks like he's, to me, it looks like he's the only one that puts time into a routine? 100%. The best poser in uh, every, uh, every yeah, show. Yeah, man. That, I'm going to have my Shazam ready because he'd be having <laughs> I don't you know. The Arnold, the yeah. from the Arnold guy back there. Shazam, that shit. Yeah. <laughs> no, because it, you don't really see that. So now... That makes me, it, you know, I'm I'm even more impressed to see yeah, someone who, that, yeah. yeah, I'm even more impressed with him because not only does like Mino said, let's do move the house and do all that shit, improve every time and spend time on the routine. And most of these guys, if not all, almost all of them, they're too lazy to do the routine or too tired to practice the routine because they have to do they have to diet and do cardio. You know what I'm saying? So it, this shows me really who really wants it. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And do, you, do you think about uh, think about this? Last was a tribute to uh, Fuad. He did exact Fuad. I, I was I know exactly anyway. because Fuad stayed right next to yeah, me. So fucking there. started crying. Uh, the first one I've seen when I uh, first time I worked with uh, Samson and he came and there was a tribute to to uh, Mountain Dog. You know uh, that was that was hard. That was uh, wonderful. Then he goes week after week, five shows, and that's a five different posing mm -hmm. routines. Mm -hmm. Does that? Mm -hmm. Then he comes to the Anno Classic last year, and he pulls uh, the the copy of uh, Flex Wheeler of, uh, of Kevin Lebroni. That was the first oh, year. The first year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. But last but year, last year I was sitting right next to me for we were sitting just, at the desk like this here, and you should have saw. Nobody saw that the fucking <laughs> reaction of Ford because I didn't know what he was doing. I just saw his routine, and then you see Ford. He froze. <laughs> And he's but, like, but it took him about 15, 20 seconds to realize that this is his routine. Yeah, but, you know. I said, and, and I that's, said, that's you, one I said, thing. what you crying for now? What you crying for? <laughs> <laughs> it's a one thing, a performance of that, but, you know, let's scratch this. Mm -hmm. Now, let's, what we judges and audience are looking when when guy is there on the stage. You want to see the confidence? You, you want to be like, okay, I know what I have. Let me show you. And this is how I'm going to show you. I'm going to, you know, make you uh, stand up from your from your seats. This is kind of thing that uh, uh, he does. Many people just go there, work it off, do this shit, walk left, right, and all this. I mean, come on. Uh, he choreographed routine, pick the best poses. Look, we can do uh, some stupid poses in the sequence. No, no, no. You pick your absolutely best poses and put in a sequence that makes sense, and then you know make a drama out of it. From beginning to the end of his posing routine, I guarantee you nobody's going to look away and talk, or, you know, which it happens with everybody else. You know, I mean, I'm sorry to say it. No, but, not uh, really. I, you know, I wouldn't say we're going to look away because his posing routine is not like Samson's. I don't, I don't, I, uh, I don't, yeah, I, I don't uh, agree with that. Hey, I, I could text you. I'm going to do that. I'm going to text you in the middle of somebody's routine and you're going to answer me, you know. <laughs> 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 try me, try me. Oh, I will. I, I'm gonna, I will. You gotta have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but yeah, I mean, uh, he's performer. I, I mean, uh, Samson, uh, it, it's it's hard for me to talk right in front of you. And no, uh, no, I, I don't I, even... <laughs> but everything I said, I mean it. You know that. You know, I have a diamond in the rough that uh, really once I've seen. I was a big fan of your physique, and the words from uh, uh, John Meadows: "This guy can make it to the Olympia." and become Mr. Olympia. Hey, first, just when he qualified for Mr. Olympia, I, I, I don't think I've seen anybody happier in my life. Yeah. I mean, uh, he was, uh, you know, from a Prague screaming, right? Probably everybody yeah. there. <laughs> but look at look at where he is now. We have a legitimate chance to win this year and, uh, you know, maybe for years to come. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Samson, yeah. I've got a question. So yeah. you come out to the Olympia, I seen you stand next to uh, Rami, and you did the double foot stomp. Yeah. <laughs> are you telling just? Are you telling your? I'm here. I'm, I'm here to smash I'm all y'all right yeah. now. I'm here. I did, the, I did the same thing to uh, to me one time. Yeah. I, I stood next to me. I said, "All business." Yeah. <laughs> 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 Milos went like this. He was like, oh, God. No, because it's doing the Remember that, Vila? That's right. Oh, because the thing is, you walk out on that stage, and you know, some guys get nervous. Some guys, you know, they kind of panel. I feel like, you know, I've been working weeks and weeks for this very moment. So when I come out on that stage, I'm, I'm going to let you know that I just got here. I'm here. <laughs> so if you're standing next to me, I'm going to let you know that, yeah, you're going to feel my presence. <laughs> next. So I I gotta make sure that, yeah, you know, I'm here for this. Hmm. So, it. so we talked about we talked about the Olympia and we made, we gave our first prediction last week, and I just I just looked over it again and I came to came to realize that 
We didn't, we didn't even include one person. Not one of us had Brandon Curry in the top Curry. five. It's... Are we... Are we are we missing something? Are we disrespecting Brandon or? But you know, what, I saw what, Brandon. I saw Brandon in in uh, Dubai, and I I gave him a hug. And you know, I'm still a bodybuilder at heart, so you know I'm gonna feel his back out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm checking his body fat and his density. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And he felt good. He looked good, man. I gotta tell you. Good. <laughs> okay, but we we know Brandon. Yeah, we know Brandon is gonna look like he's gonna look like Brandon. You know, there's a there's a great Brandon, there's a good Brandon, there's a normal Brandon. Which Brandon can a Brandon still beat some of these guys if they're on? I, I think I think I think he could though, man. He that's why he you did, that's why you didn't have him in the top five. From, from no, I mean when I saw him, it, I had to change him. I was changing like, damn, like okay. this guy could really do something that people are not really expecting. Not to say that it will happen like that, but he's definitely not going to be a pushover for anybody. No, and, absolutely not. You know, he's spending that time out there. It, it does help. But Chris, uh, but Chris, you know, you've been there long enough. Can we all know what this issue was? His upper body is not the, the half, problem. The lower half has got to come. It's exactly. Can and someone? It can't, and it can't be a video or a photo from days before. It has to be on it that day. It can't before. be in that door frame with the crazy light, yeah. you know? Yeah. So, but that, that morning. can Brandon, I mean, he's been trying this for how many years now? Can he improve his legs to the point where he matches his upper body? Or is that not even possible anymore at this time? <sighs> Shit. That's hard. hard because, question, because, yeah, I, and, and I'm, I'm asking this question for a reason because, I mean, I, I, we all know. And, I mean, it's like it's like uh, uh, Milos and, and Samson said, yeah, water is wet. We know. I'm working on it. So he's been working on it for, for years since he lost the Olympia. Mm -hmm. So it hasn't happened then. Can it happen now? Well, l let's establish this. We all, all three of us, all four of us, Love Brandon's physique. Yes, we are, we are all fans, you know for sure. I do remember when uh, we were doing this first Arnold Classic, and and Samson standing right there next to Brandon, and he's like, yeah, hey, you know, but uh, he didn't seize the moment and, and make himself look perfect. Remember Samson? Yeah, and I remember. You kind of like <laughs> you know, you lost that moment, <laughs> and they pull you away from him. I just I really wanted that comparison. I wanted yeah. Samson and Brandon because uh, I think. It's there is some similarities there, and the, the things that uh, Samson can overwhelm him. So I, I got, uh, uh, of course, uh, Instagram from uh, Abdullah and uh, and uh, and update on uh, on uh, Brandon and Brandon, like you said, looks like Brandon. You know, uh, you can't even determine which year it was that video from. You know, it's like same pose, same light, yeah. same stare, yeah, same everything, yeah. right? It looks great. Yeah, it looks great. But like you said, again, the balance is that costs him the titles, right? The balance that is so visible, upper, lower, from the front and from the back. From the side, he has that balance. He has a nice drop, a hamstring drop. Yeah. 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 But when you look at it, six out of four, uh, uh, six out of eight poses, that uh, he can be checked on the balance, 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 balance. Okay, so last year he tried to be maybe too big and to have that, uh, you know, fully blown quads and cost him a condition. We all know also if he goes for the conditioning, it can probably cost him, you know, some size of the legs. I told, and that's what I mean, it's not like disrespecting um, Brandon, because I, I told uh, Abdul, yeah, he can even win. You know, there is not, there is like six guys that can win uh, you know, if style start alignment is just a little different. If somebody's a little bit off here, somebody, hey, somebody is just spot on, you know, has the moment and just shines, mm -hmm. God knows. You know, but uh, I would still think that uh, he's 40 something. And uh, you said, can we expect his uh, legs to grow? It's hard, it's hard for me to see it. Uh, I think it, it's possible. He can logic. Come on. Yeah, I think I think he can probably repeat what he did last year, coming bigger and with the legs bigger. If he wants to bring the legs bigger, he has to be bigger overall, and mm -hmm. he's going to sacrifice a little bit of condition. That's what I see, and I think that's not going to be enough for some of these other heavy hitters. It's just not. I, I think 
and this is just my personal opinion, I think a super shredded Brandon would be more dangerous as a full-blown Brandon in this lineup. Yeah, but super shredded can cost him his legs. I understand that, it, but it, it's, it's a disbalance I, even more. I, I help his, I don't know. Huh? I thought his upper body was hmm, really what? big with the legs last year. His upper body is big. It's always big. Yeah. You know? It was more like the cuts for me, not exactly the size, but the actual definition and separation more so than actual yeah. size. more separation i think he can it could help him i i uh, i wonder what goes on in brandon's mind right now seeing who's all in there and people who people talking about how motivation how motivating is is that when you hear people talk about other guys not even including you in the top five anymore you know it's hard to train through that yeah it's hard I mean, to still be going out to kuwait yeah. um and, and oxygen and still doing that is it's commendable man yeah I'd be hard. I'm, I'm sure he doesn't care what we say or anybody, or like, would, would Samson care what everybody else is it's saying? It's not only about us. I'm not talking about us. I'm talking about yeah, I mean, I, I know, yeah. You can listen to anywhere. I mean, nobody really has Brandon as a factor. And I, I think we miss it out. We, twice, I think, yeah. Yeah, twice runner up, right? So yeah. he's a front runner in every show. He slipped last year, yeah. But it's a tougher lineup now. I mean, everybody's bringing it. It's not like we, we didn't put him in the top five like, because he has no business being there. But somebody has to be first and somebody has to be sixth. Yeah. And the way, because you, Dennis, you you uh, you almost got the Samson out of top five. No, I, hey, listen, I, expl I explained to Samson my theory and my strategy. My strategy, I, my strategy is already explained. Samson. Well, yeah. <laughs> hey. Your back is weak. The week back, how does yeah. that make you feel? And how does that it made me kill it at the gym? It made me angry. You know, <laughs> this is the thing. Like for me, like I said, you know, like you said, I don't need to say words. I don't need to respond. I don't. That's. I mean, come on. Talk is talk. Everybody's out of tired of talking, but all it means is actions show everything. So that's why I made sure that okay, I'm gonna show you my back, the weakest part of my body. I'm gonna show you over and over. I'm gonna show you watch, make you watch it improve. Onto the point it is where you can't say anything else. You know, there's no point in me showing you my strong parts. We all, we already know what my strong parts are. Taking but, it. Okay. And that's it. Because you see, you, they know what my strong parts, they know what my strong poses are. There's no point, you know, guys that post up their strongest poses, like, what to do? Water is wet. We've seen it. We know that. Show me your weakness and show me that's improved. And that's why I do it. It's almost like Arnold did back in the day where they said he had no calves and he started wearing shorts. So he, he forced himself to grow calves. And this is the same exact theory, you know. Well, the, I mean, I see that. But the, the thing is with you, the, the dangerous thing with you is to challenge you on something. And when a person has genetic potential and a lot of great genetics to actually grow muscle. Yeah. The worst thing, because you saw how you look <laughs> yeah. a few years ago <clears throat> compared to now. So that's to that. That. I would probably say nothing if yeah, I was. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're, you're best off saying nothing because it's almost like, you know, <laughs> if you give me, you pick out something that makes me angry about. Yeah, I yeah. Anything, I'll just go to the gym and I'll rip the crap out of it and I'll kill it <laughs> and I'll show you. Okay, what did you say? Now let's look at it. I would say so, nothing. you know, I would say nothing. <laughs> Samson, yeah. Samson, how tall are you exactly? Six foot, six between foot. five eleven and six foot. Uh, how many centimeters? One eighty-five. One eighty-five. Yeah, one eighty-five. Yeah, yeah. And listen, and, and Samson, as you guys all know, is super gentleman, and uh, he doesn't go into any of those discussions. But but think about it. Where did you see him improve since two thousand twenty-one? I just uh, Every, everything, uh, everything, everything. Oh, the whole exactly. fucking, the whole fucking body. So the even the face, so, even the face got yeah. prettier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it's a easy life now, right? Yeah, it's yeah. like okay, you know, he has a little bit more comfort. But uh, shoulders, I mean, I've seen the pictures of you and Nathan from that yeah. show, you know, back and forth, and just um, improvements that you made are mind-boggling. I didn't want to repost them right now because people are gonna say I, I have. I'm picking on Nathan because <laughs> I'm not, you know, have nothing to do with this. 
uh, I think you could have uh, beat him in in all those shows. They they didn't see it then. Okay, well, uh, now just like Ronnie Coleman back in the day, he was on the stage as great as he was. He was not really seen until he was seen. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you know that's uh, with you. You're that up and coming like oh, the great potential. All this other, and now you have arrived. So now the all eyes are in you, and you're putting the work well, on you. Yeah. Sorry? All eyes are on him. On you. Yeah, on we you. Don't wanna go, we don't want to go in you. We be on you. <laughs> on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, um, you know. So, so Milos, Milos, I, as I know how much, uh, how, how emotional you are when you work with people. Uh, yeah. Now, going to the Olympia, I, I believe wholeheartedly that you believe that he's going to win the Olympia. I believe it. You, yeah, yeah, I believe it. I believe it. I have no doubt that you really believe that because he, he was the same before the Arnold. Yeah. And uh, what would be in disappointment? Well, well, listen. Okay. So, so Samson, and this is how I want you to look at it. Yeah. You're talking to Dennis, myself, and, uh, and uh, Chris. Chris did make top three at Olympia. And Chris, out of us, probably uh, was the probably only guy that believed it. Maybe he can even win. He was that close. I don't yeah. know, Dennis, if you actually think that you could have win. No. You are one of the guys, you know. So we no. were going to the shows like, okay, you know. Yeah. But making a top three, making a top three is, you know, how many people have ever done that? So yeah, I, felt, already, I, I already felt like this making top four. Yeah, yeah. To be honest. That's a, a, top four well, was for me like, that was for me like a win. Look, Almost. Samson last year, last year, Samson, if, if I can say this uh, yeah, yeah. loudly, top 10 was the goal, top six was a dream. Yeah. And, and now, yeah, of course, uh, you know, top three is uh, is definitely the goal and, and winning is the, the, the actual yeah. goal. Yeah. Uh, so, so, so winning is a dream and the goal is top three. Yeah. So everything out of top three would be a disappointment? I wouldn't say a disappointment, but I think it would be it would be something that I'm like, damn, okay, you know what? Uh it's, it's it will feel painful. Yeah. But but, but think it, but think about this though. This year please, this yeah. year is your second Olympia. That's, second Olympia. Think and about a, it. I think take, take, I do think about it. And I do think about it. And you know, my my wife, she says the same thing. She's like I can't even know, believe that you're already fighting to fucking win the Olympia yeah, at your yeah, second, second I mean your second Olympia. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, I feel like if I don't have that mentality, I wouldn't be improving the way I am. No, right. You're right. You know, and as much as it is, yeah, I know if I step back and I thought about it and go, okay, it's my second Olympia. Come on, man. You made top five in second Olympia. This is, I'll be like, oh, this is a dream come true. Even being there is a dream come true. But I know that I right now, competing, my mentality has to be like, okay, I'm going for the win. You know, it has to be that ruthless, selfish mentality. I want the top spot. I want to be right there in the mix all the time. So if I if you don't have that mentality, then you, I think something different is mm. you just are, you, are, you get to things differently. So I think that mentality is always something I've always had, and I know that I'm always going to have that. Mm. Yeah, as an athlete, um, <clears throat> like you always want to make sure that you actually belong in the sport that you're trying yeah. to put yeah. your heart into, and being in the top six that that stamps it like in your mind, like yeah, I belong with these guys. <clears throat> now I'm going to see. You know where I can go. Yeah. Um, tell us about that type of feeling. And uh, I like I, you know, I took six my first Olympia, so I was like, okay, shit. Everyone doubted me my whole career, telling me I'm too small, I'm yeah. not big enough, I'm not a big, I don't have the prototypical whatever. But I always believed in myself, so I was like, okay. <clears throat> but then I wanted when I was like, okay, I need to be in that top three. I need to be amongst those last standing. Yeah. Is that your mindset going in? Is, is it is it is it for the win or is it for the top three or what's gonna? It's for the win. Time. It's almost like I mean, my mindset. I can't. From I, you can't go through a prep and truly kill yourself. I know that you've given everything and feel like death day after day and day in and said, "Well, I'll set it for top three. Even mm -hmm. though, yeah, probably after it, I'll probably like, yeah, cool. It's not bad. It's second only top three. But each day, the only thing that's in my mind is I want to win this thing. I'm suffering because I want to win this thing. I put myself through this because I want to win this thing. And I know full well that anything else will be, it won't suffice. I want to win, you know, and that's just it. I can't, I can't say it any other way. Mm. 
I love it. He has to, one thing I really respect about Nick Walker is you can really see he has that mentality, right? And uh, I said before, I didn't really believe uh, I'm going to go against uh, Flex and Chris and, and uh, Kevin and Sean and, and I'm going to go in. I say, come on, I'm re I'm a realist. But as realist as I am, Samson, I mean, you being here or not, uh, if I've never seen you in my life and I've seen all the physiques, for me, your physique is a front runner. You have something that uh, guys ahead of you don't. Yeah, they had something over you at Olympia. Yeah, so you just need to refine that one, and then uh, hell is break is gonna break loose. I mean, you're bringing something that okay, Lee Haney himself called you Excalibur. Okay, he calls me, and this is this is one of my proudest moments. I get the phone call from from Lee, like oh my god, and he talked to me about for thirty minutes about Samson. Uh, how he, he can really believe the resemblance and how his wife was telling him, you know, hey, look, look at that, right? So he sees it. All of us see it, right? He just now, is he going to work hard? And uh, of course, he is, a, you know, when people said, nobody's going to outwork me, really. Okay, I'm going to put nobody's going to outwork Samson, guarantee. But he's going to be, oh, yeah. I, I've seen how he trains. I, I don't give him much input because I've seen how he trains. I've seen how each and every rep is designed for not move the way do the exercise. It's pulled from the, the, the muscle, stimulate that muscle. I mean, gee, no carbs, high carbs, doesn't matter. You know, he, he goes through, through the same shit. Something if you can confirm with yeah. him. Last yeah. couple of last last couple of uh, weeks, you've been almost fainting in a in a in a gym, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that just comes with it, man. Like I said, look, for me, you know, I know people like, you know, you get a low carb day and you feel a bit sluggish and tired and you go to the gym and you want to pull punches because you know that you're not feeling 100%. I don't, that doesn't exist in my syllable. The minute I walk in the gym, I put my headphones on and that's it. I don't, I don't stop until my workout is done. I don't even, you know, people, people within the gym, they probably, you know, they probably think I'm a rude bastard and I'm, they just hate me because I don't speak. I don't talk, I don't smile, I don't say hello, I don't do any of that. I'm just like, look, if you're in my way, just get the hell out of my way because I'm smashing this thing and I don't want to stop until I'm done. <laughs> I remember you just, you just made me think about, I was working out with uh, <clears throat> Gary Stridham and I, I came in and he was already in the, he was already looking at himself in the mirror warming up. And I came in there all smiling, hey Gary, how you doing? <laughs> no, no. Like, it was like, no highs, no hellos, just fucking warm up. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's all, no highs, no hellos. I mean, those are the rules. If you say hello and then hello back, next is coming yeah. out. Yep. And then that's how is your mom, dad, uh, brother, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> you talk about the Saturday night and the... Uh, who did you go? Who'd you go home with, and all that bullshit? I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. Hey, so, so one one more criticism I would like to uh, put out there, Samson. Yeah. Uh, better control in the midsection is gonna do dividends for oh, you. Better. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, keeping it compact, to not breathing out of it in any oh, of your. Yeah. You know, we went to Pittsburgh a few weeks ago, and obviously we went to get um, feedback from the Tyler Manions and everything else. And that was one thing they 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 told us. Okay, you're ready for that. I just want to know this for my own sake. Yeah, and from that from that point on, literally, you know, like I said, middle every single morning, straight after 40 minutes cardio, I'm posing nonstop for the next half an hour. How close was that mindset behind the poses? How close was that to my mindset behind the poses? Similar or not? Yeah, it is similar it's because I know what's coming. I know what's coming on that stage. I know that we're going to get posed out. I know that, you know, the first person that starts breathing out their gut because they can't hold it together is going to flash up on the rest of us. Mm -hmm. So I know for a fact that from the minute I walk onto that stage and the minute I leave, and you then got to breathe from your chest, hold that tight midsection, hey. and hit the pose with a heart to kill. Yeah. You never, even from your back shots, you want that all, oh, all tight all the time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the Mannions, both uh, Jim and Tyler, gave him some valuable instructions. Oh yeah, and, uh, and especially from the back, right? Mm -hmm. and, oh yeah. Uh, 
he was so excited to actually even show me the video and I could see the difference. And then, yeah, Chris, uh, as you know, I repeated this a million times to all of my athletes, glue your stomach to the spine, glue your stomach to the spine, you know, breathe from the back, all this kind of stuff, right? You know, th that's uh, that's very uh, important. Samson has the, those deep abs, right? Deep. So when those deep abs are like, you know, cellophane to the spine, you know, that's going to be like so, so visible, especially with that crazy chest coming, which... We didn't talk about it. I, I, I would claim that uh, Samson has the best chest in bodybuilding, biggest chest, fullest chest, up, down, in, out, any which way you look at it. And now I don't know if you guys pay attention. He doesn't post many pictures, but that uh, most muscular shot with uh, Michael, uh, the cl oh, classic, yeah, yeah. Uh, classic physique guy who is uh, Mr. Shredded, you know, you, you <coughs> can see that uh, quality coming. Well, yeah. Oh, we Michael Dabu, Dabu? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's ripped. Always, <laughs> always. Yeah, and also I think uh, another valuable thing. I think uh, Milos brought this up uh, one day. I, I've actually done this myself throughout my career. Is when you're on a daily basis, you keeping it, keeping your stomach in check oh. all day long. Like when, right now, like right now, now. Like walking on the beach, like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all day. Yeah, I'm sure. So, so, I'm sure Samson's doing everything he's supposed to do, and probably hey, a little bit more. He he does everything. Yeah. Uh, and now, can you guys? Okay, let, let me put you on the spot. Uh, which pose do you do you think, uh, uh, Chris? If you would be posing with him, what would you? Which pose would you focus on? Hey, and uh, Samson, I know you don't even want to hear yeah. this, but uh, I'm, I'm putting it. I'm putting this just uh, I want to hear other yeah. opinions. I know Samson's got to go somewhere. I mean, you have oh, eight, oh, oh, you have, eight, you have an eight o'clock. We can talk about no, this we... when he's gone, so he don't have to listen yeah, to yeah. us. I mean, tra he don't right. have to listen to us trash talking him. <laughs> 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 you know what I'm saying? No, but Samson, listen, I, I'm really yeah. I'm I'm rooting for you. I'll you know, you. even though I had you in the top uh, fifth last week, yeah. I'm going to change my prediction this week. Because I have a feeling that uh, uh, I have a feeling that you know things are going better than 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 we expected, and uh, I I can only hope that nothing happens from now till the Olympia. Stay injury free. Don't get nice. sick. Don't catch no fucking COVID. None yeah, of that shit. Oh. Stay your ass home. Don't talk to nobody because only if they <laughs> talk to you, you can get sick. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So yeah. when do you plan on coming to the U.S.? Uh, flying in the Sunday before the Olympia. Oh, so you're just coming a week out? Uh, actually, mm -hmm. six days. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. So you're flying directly to Orlando? Yeah, I'm flying directly to Orlando. Okay. All right, cool. So I guess we'll see you guys. We'll see you in Orlando. Oh, yeah. You know, we'll probably see you at the at the gym there. Oh, for sure. You know, where they charge you. <laughs> they're going to come out. They're going <laughs> to, they're going to, some of the gyms are trying to charge $50 a, a workout to make money for the Olympia. They do that shit every year. Yep. All right. Any, well, any, thanks. Chris, you have, do you have another question for, for Samson before we let him go? I'm I'm all out of questions for you, brother. Good luck. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate you coming on, and uh, I just keep doing your thing, man. I like what I'm seeing. So, and I'm watching every day. I'm watching everything. So I like the side up. I like how you're picking it up more now. Uh, you improved, you know, so much. So, from the Arnold Classic till this Olympia, I'm expecting a, a big, big change, and um, I'm excited to see it. It's the only reason I fucking even watch bodybuilders. I want to see some shit. Like yeah, this. yeah, definitely. I hear for the other shit. But you, only but you guys know what's also great to see that he finally gets the respect online too. You know, you can see it with his followers and stuff that, that people have finally given you the respect that you deserve. And yeah. and I like to see that too, you know, because you're very yeah, active right. on Instagram and it pays off. Because at the end no, of the day, this is what we do. We don't have any pub yep. we don't have any publication deals anymore, so we gotta do it our own on Instagram. I so I like like the way you handle uh, constructive criticism. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, this was, like I've always been brought up. You know, like you know, you can always learn something. You never know it all. You can always learn. So regardless of you know who it is, where he's from, you know, it's one thing to just listen and see if there's any merit to what they're telling you, and then go back and check it out. You never know. You might pick up something. I mean, I've learned so much from even you, Chris Milos, because of you know 
you guys are giving criticism and stuff like that. And I go away and I go, actually, yeah, they have a point. I got to work on this. I got to change it. And that's why we've been improving so much because we listen. We don't just close our eyes and act like it's not happening or we don't hear what we hear. So, you know, so, and myself and Dennis and Milos, <clears throat> we're not couch coaches as far as like actually. Uh, You've got done it. You've done it. So I help these guys get better. It's, that's the only reason why we do what we do, you know. Yeah, for sure. Right. So Samson, just like uh, Chris was saying in that tw uh, twisting uh, back shot, okay, yeah. focus on this. Uh, I'm like this uh, every time, even first time, uh, I remember, first time watching you, you were posing outside and I yeah. was giving some directions. So here uh, I'm too excited and I'm I'm saying something that I want to see it, but it's just not Samson, right? Samson has been there, done that. You know, you do something to your comfort, and then I kind of throw him off. And, you know, so when it doesn't look good, I'm first one to say, no, 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 no. But I always want you to be that open-minded, because I learned oh. that uh, thing. I was just doing it a certain way and no other way. And then somebody told me, well, well, oh, no, I don't feel comfortable. Don't don't let me. Don't. But then I look at the picture, like, oh, shit. You know, yeah. so these kind of things. Uh, all this, uh, and you're exploring all the time. I know when he did that uh, uh, back archery pose uh, yeah, you, you, somewhere. Oh, yeah, a, that was a shot. And I was like, hold on, freeze. I want that back in a, a back, back double. double. And then he, the way he got that done. Yes. Mom. Okay, well, I don't want to keep you busy if you're there with the. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sure. I'll right. see you tonight, right? Uh, the, the, oh, yeah, yeah. You see me tomorrow. Oh, yeah, it's tonight for you. Yeah, it's in the morning right, for tonight, me. Tonight, tomorrow morning. Yeah, I'll see, you, I'll, see, I'll see you tonight. Yeah. Sure. All, right. All right, champ. Go handle your business, man. Good luck. We'll see you. I can't wait for your routine, brother. Uh, thank you very much, Thanks, guys. guys. Thank you. In regards to Marlena. Marlena. We'll do. We'll do. Love you. And, and that uh -huh. big-ass dog guy. <laughs> <laughs>
Lee Haney's front left spread with that vacuum, Jesus mm. Christ. You know, you, know you, you can't touch that. Side chest, they told him, and yeah. I really agree. Sure. Side chest is old fashioned, you know, chest up, you know, not my bullshit. <laughs> you, know? you, what, you remember, Chris, you know what Milos would, would, you, would tell people? You turn more, you create more width than you look yeah, like. Yeah. <laughs> But it worked for fucking 30 years. All of a sudden, it won't work. He's using everything in the pose, like a almost like a most muscular. Yeah. But, yeah. That's, a, that's exactly what Milo said. It's almost like a most muscular in the side yeah. triceps, in the side by, uh, side chest pose. Yeah. yeah, even though even though Arnold <laughs> back in the, in the goddamn thing, Arnold says, don't do the front chest pose, you do the side chest pose, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you know, created with so you see, Samson doesn't need that. So Samson, when he turns around, okay, well, you know, he looks great. But other people like myself, I could get away. I would look bigger, you know, that way. But if I go in a way he does it, no, I don't have that size and thickness. Mm. So that, that's that's the way he should uh, do it. Who's the that's, most Who's the most dangerous guy to Samson? If they put him next to each other, I mean, all the. All the top five guys are dangerous. I, I look, know, but who's the most, I, Hardy, who's the Hardy most dangerous? Be, I think his competition is in that top three area. I think his most of his competition is Derek and Hardy because, you know, yeah. even though uh, <laughs> he came from the Olympia, you know, beating him, and then he's turned the table on him at the, at the Arnold Classic, even though that, that happened, that actually really happened. And they're actually, you know, all it takes for him to improve more mm. for that to happen, in my in my opinion. Um, so they seen him next to Derek. They they, you know, a lot of people, including myself, saw, <clears throat> you know, it's pose for pose in the front. He needed that back to improve, and you know, the back has improved. So depending on how he's gonna look toward look against those top two guys is going to be everything for him. Let's let's yeah. let's throw Nick Walker into the mix. Yeah. He's in the mix though. That don't get me wrong. So He's now com direct comparison Nick Walker and and Samson. What do you guys see? I mean, Samson's going to beat him in balance and shape and aesthetics, you know, and uh, uh he cannot out freak uh Samson. So he can out freak smaller guys, right? But if you are bigger than, uh, <laughs> than him, how, what he's gonna do? He has the bigger arms, and uh, and it's end of story. Mm -hmm. Bigger arms. Uh, so what else is gonna out freak him? You know. So I don't see it. But uh, let me tell you. I mean, uh, he's improving, and he's gonna try to bring that freak factor. He's not gonna out shape anybody. Uh, Andrew Jack, uh, the Derek uh, Lansford, um, you just mentioned Brandon Curry. Those are the beautiful shapes, right? Hunter Labrada, beautiful shape. Hunter beat Nick before, even less condition on that aesthetic shape balance, right? But you got to give a, a chance to to Nick Walker. He's gonna, you know, come bigger, uh, freakier, and try to outmuscle everybody. It just I don't see working against uh, Samson, you know, with the, with the muscles that he has. Like, what is he going to do? Compare lower body. Legs can be compared? No way, mm. right? <laughs> Chest can be compared? No way. You know, and, and then you you analyze just balance and shape and everything else. So I have confidence that, uh, yeah, uh, Sam Samson is super, super uh, committed. Uh, like I said, uh, he, he got kind of... Uh, you know, bummed that uh, I'm just going with echoing what everybody else is saying. Oh, just bring him dry, bring him shredded, bring him condition. You were talking about some 285 or something, you know, and stuff what's, like what's that. What's wrong with 285? 285 is huge, man. Come on. You know, if, again, it, if it's peeled, 285? Yeah. So we are not we are not looking for the scale, uh, no. I promise. No. Uh, and this is how it was for the last couple of shows, Olympia and Classic. It was none of a concern. He sends me the video. And last video he sent me, it was super impressive, right? But, you know, before I call him and I start 
speaking my language of, yeah, we need, we need, we need, right? I said, did you see a video? Yes, I've seen the video. The video looks fantastic. And he doesn't want to show anybody. So I said, okay, probably it's better off. You know how if you saturate the media and uh, and uh, social network with uh, all the updates, like he didn't work for, for Regan, mm -hmm. right? You know, so something. Yeah, because, but, but, but Regan used filters. I mean, that's, of course, that doesn't work. <laughs> in, uh, no, Chris, why are you laughing? <laughs> hey, am I bullshit? Am I bullshit? Here now? and there, what's wrong with that? No, 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 no. You don't use filters to make yourself look sharper. Come on now. Hey, so it just makes you, I don't know. No, because you hurt yourself. Because when you step yeah. on stage, people say, oh, that's not even the same person. Or, well, the, you know. I was like not to, only I was, filtered, I you know, fully, a, fully pumped, you know, just I, finished the I, last. I buy like uh, the the filtered glasses <laughs> and just put the glasses to everybody, you know, in the judging panel. I said, please, <laughs> can you? No, look? no, that's, but that's what I'm saying, and that's this is what hurt Regan because when you Thank look you. at when you look at Regan's pictures uh, in the gym, and then you look at his pictures on stage, it's 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 not close. And that's normal. And I know I've been there. <laughs> I've been there myself. I know how it is when you fully pumped in the gym after a nice chest workout, everything's full. You take pictures right there and then in a good light, you look better than you look on stage. You know, that's why sometimes a little less is maybe a little bit better. So do you, I feel like these guys, when they doing all this content stuff, they got the perfect angle for that body part. They got the, the perfect light and the perfect angle and, and bodybuilding is not that. Bodybuilding is more like you're tired as fuck. You're hitting these shots again. They want another call out, and they fucking you gassing. Mm -hmm. You wonder how you're gonna get through these next few poses. That goes through your mind. That's to me is the shots you need to be at your best. And it's not an angle, and it's not a lighting, and it's not a none of that. Mm -hmm. That's where a lot of people falter, and I think that's where people get disappointed. And the 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 uh, the production that you see is is it's not that these guys are <clears throat> not breathing hard they're very you know into their shot they got the great light and that goes on instagram you know but bodybuilding is way more to it than that yeah but th then again you have to understand one thing this is their source of income too i mean you know what they post online is what, yeah, they, just, get, is what they get paid for and they're creating content you know we didn't have that i'm not i'm not talking about that that's that's a known fact and that's that's great. I wish we could have done that. But what I'm saying is when these guys get in competition and start falling apart yeah. at those last moments, that's going to make a difference whether they're going to win it or a lot or lose it. I mean, that I like the body, but I'm not really like the studio, the studio bodybuilder guys. I'm more like those, like, I think Sam's is a real bodybuilder. Yeah. Uh, Trust uh, me. I mean, he is so motivated. This is, uh, it's kind of hard to talk right in front of him because, uh, I don't want to maybe embarrass him or, you know, like glorify him too much or, uh, you know, say any criticism and then he takes it the wrong way. Uh, he improved more than I was expecting, more than he was expecting. And then, uh, you know, when you really look at, you know, put in, in a context, 10 competitions in two years and keep improving from show to show and putting on the uh, size and the weaknesses, he had a, weak shoulder he was like narrow and then really narrow back and now this is all expanding thicker quads thicker calves even uh, bigger arms way bigger arms than uh, when we started yeah so so uh, i mean uh, uh he, and he's posing he's posing and on a i was going in the morning to see a uh, regan pose and the plan was he does a cardio and then we do like uh, five rounds uh, we never did uh, even three. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, uh, two rounds, two rounds. Yes. Okay. After second round, he's just, just too tired, and uh, and he's like, okay, he's gonna post three more times. It, the the goal was four times a day, five oh, rounds, five rounds, five rounds. You know, eight hours, five seconds first uh, round, eight seconds, ten seconds, or uh, twelve, fifteen. You know, this is how it's supposed to be. You know, and, be tired. You're supposed to be tired, dude. You're supposed to be tired, yeah. But uh, that's what Robbie used to tell me. He's dude. He used to be in that stomping his feet. I'm like 20 years old. He's stomping his feet in the damn posing room. I'm sweating. I got a whole puddle of sweat. And he's like, 
He's like, you're supposed to be tired. You're supposed to be tired. I'm just like, holy shit. <laughs> it, that's the way I was brought up. Yeah. So, you know how it goes? Initially, you know, you usually look better second and third, third round in the that, first one. That's the way it should be. Yeah. Sure. If you are in shape, practice in and posing. Shape, yeah. If you yeah. don't practice posing, you look good at the first round, and then you get worse with every round. Yeah. That's yeah. the thing. But usually, Usually, I agree with you. after after the third round, fourth and fifth round, you start <laughs> losing it, and then you you don't even feel the muscle that you're squeezing and all this. Yeah, stuff. but if but, you if you practice posing, and I'm I'm not saying this because I used to do it like that, but if you do it the way you should, then you can do five rounds and it wouldn't even bother you. You shouldn't yeah. even be sweating at the end, especially um, especially not if you drop your water. You shouldn't be sweating. So, yeah. but yeah, you, I feel like this, Dennis. Sometimes the the way you exert yourself into a certain in any pose, front double bicep or whatever, you don't have to give it your all in the damn pose. You can reserve some of your energy for for later rounds when you just like you're in the pose. Your arms are up there. You're gonna feel. I mean, you're gonna look like you pose. It's not a difference between this and this. It's no yeah. difference. Yeah, difference. Yeah, they're, they're actually. I discussed this before. There are some poses that you can hit 60, 70 percent and, and make you look no different. What, what's like, that? What's uh, that? What's that pose? Side chest. Well, well, you know. Okay, front double biceps, right? You don't need to squeeze biceps like a maniac. You know, shit. It, it's, it's just like uh, as Chris said, get in position. Just you know, squeeze a little bit. I've yeah. seen guys that don't even squeeze the biceps; they just lift their arms. Like what the hell? Okay, you need to squeeze them a little bit, but. <laughs> Like this most muscular, most muscular, you have to squeeze one hundred percent, right? Mm -hmm. And then depends the side chest. You know, when we do it that other way with the chest up, then obviously you don't need to squeeze that much. The the variations that we we did, and then that, then right. you have to squeeze like <laughs> a maniac. Yeah, yeah you but get, you Dennis, gonna, you're gonna get tired. That, that's your freakiest pose. Uh, I mean, out of all people, side chest most muscular. Uh, yours is like Mr. Nobody's you, touching that you one. You see how he called that pose? A side chest most muscular. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Hey, listen, your legs are this way anyway, right? Yeah. So it's, it's side chest. The only thing, the only thing to the side is the is the damn front yeah. leg. <laughs> yeah, but but listen, good. guys, I, I can't stop this without asking for y'all's prediction this week. Okay. Just real quick, real quick. Go one ahead. more thing. Go ahead, man. But one thing you always bust my balls about it because I always blur it out there. But the biggest thing I've seen improve with Samson, you know, Milos has always been me doing Milos things. He's always, you know, with the with the carbs, with the with the uh, the proteins and the pushing and the you know the whatever. But the main thing I see improved with him the last couple of years has been his training and his posing. It's the main thing I've seen. Well, made and, his, the, and his body. Body, yeah, that's yeah. what I've. Been. Yeah, no, he's. You can see he's constantly improving. I mean, it's scary to see if this is continue going on like this. I mean, he, he can he, he can run away with this for for a long time. Sure, I don't see why not. And he's got the height. Yeah, no one that height like that with that muscle and that separation. Other than Andrew. Yeah, yeah, but Andrew's not not him yet. Yeah. Okay. Not Samson's yet. All right, Milos, we're gonna start with you. I don't know uh, if I don't know if you need to refresh from last week. You know, I know exactly what I did, but uh, I would still say, and when you ask uh, who is his biggest competition, I still think that Hardy and uh, Derek, of course, are the biggest competition. Uh, Derek is definitely improved, uh, yeah, and is very aesthetic. But Hardy, I've seen Hardy over and over and over, and always impressed me. You know, even when I. Originally, when I'm thinking like, okay, he, he is not most aesthetic, but then you see him on the stage, it's like, God, I'm too complete, you know, everything is there, enough size, enough thickness, enough width, okay, he was a little bit bigger, lost a little bit of condition from the back, he knows he lost from the back, so he's going to have to, you know, uh, take care of that, so I expect Hadi to be uh, at his best, I still think that uh, he's going to be hard to beat, but uh, I see Samson beating him. Derek uh, is going to be improved, Derek, but he's going to still uh, lose to to Hardy. So and did I you just give me the top three? And was that just the top three? Yeah, yeah. In, in that order, it's uh, uh, Samson, Hardy, uh, Derek. Now, 
Fourth, I gave it to uh, uh, Andrew Jack. And uh, uh, fifth to uh, uh, Nick Walker, right? Mm -hmm. I, I might see actually, uh, even though I love uh, Andrew Jack's physique uh, way better, right? And I would vote for him. I do think that uh, Nick is going to overwhelm him. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be like Arnold Classic when we were watching Samson won, and then uh, uh, there was Nick, and then uh, Andrew. Andrew. Andrew was uh, shredded, beautiful shape, but not enough size. And now that when I'm thinking uh, Nick is going to bring a few more pounds and probably, you know, a little bit uh, better condition than Arnold Classic. So I think it's going to overwhelm um, Andrew. Can he overwhelm uh, Derek? I don't think so. I mean, it's going to overwhelm him in, in a size, but Derek is just too V-tapered, too X-framed, too aesthetic. And uh, yeah, so Samson, Hardy, Derek, uh, Nick, and Andrew. Andrew. Okay, today, what's today's date? Uh, 3rd. October, October 3rd. But, but yeah, you, you make me feel guilty about Brandon. Yeah, you, I, do, you know, you I, do sit, make I sit at home all week and I, I think about Brandon. We just not, we, we just don't have faith in him. That's what it is. But I guess you know anything can change. So let's go with Chris now. Yeah, yeah. I got a new. <laughs> you, you need you need a reminder from last week. I'm back to Hardy. You stick with Hardy. Hardy. I got. Uh, Chris, we still have four weeks, so we can change it four more times. I'm still going to go with Derek because I haven't seen the difference. And uh, then I got Samson, and then I got Nick, then I got Andrew. So and it's then, the exact same as last week. And then... Uh, no, no, we only did the top five. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Who you got? I got... So uh, last week I had um, last where am I here? I had Derek Hardy, Nick, Andrew, Samson. This week I will go with Hardy, Derek, Samson, Nick, and Brandon. Over where's uh, where's Andrew? Did I hear Andrew? He's out of the top five right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's no, this is just this is my week. Yeah, I mean, when we talk about the Brandon and Jesus, I mean, he won, and then two times he was second, very close, right? Yeah. You know, uh, to to uh, Rami and then to uh, Jesus. I mean, uh, fresh, okay, so he had a whole year. Right, no injuries. Looks like it, uh, but age is not on his side. Let's put age let's is not on his side. Uh, I'll tell you, Max Charles did improve his uh, leg size, quad size, even though he still didn't pose him correctly on a, on a stage. And it pisses me off. I can send you the six minute video day before, and uh, for the first time, I'm calling him like, "Oh my God, Jesus Christ! Thank you, Jesus!" You know. You you learn how to show your legs from beginning to the end. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. Now I got it. I got it. And then he goes on the stage and, and it's and gone. So, yeah. It's gone. Like, uh, yeah. It's so happens. yeah. I, I really think that this is what uh, Chris noticed. It's not so much that uh, Brendan didn't have a size as much as size with separation. So he somehow blown him up. You know, so quads were so uh, kind of bigger. Especially riding the horse with the with the Derek, they were going on a you know. <laughs> they were on the, ho on the horse, horse on the horse track. <laughs> yeah, horse track. But uh, uh, yeah, he he needed separation and size. If he can put that together, that would be dangerous. Then his upper body is gonna really show. I mean, his upper body that V tapered, that last spread. That last still there for sure. Oh. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. I mean, we'll talk about it again next week. 
And then uh, we'll see if that will change. I'll have him in the top five this week, that's for sure. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate you both. And yeah, we'll, man. I'll see you guys soon. Okay, who's next week? You guys uh, soon. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Let's think about that. Yeah. Let's think. Yeah. I have an idea. I'll text you. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, hey, All right. League of Champions is happening. Go watch it. Right now? Yeah. What? Yeah, what? League of Champions. You don't play, You don't watch soccer, you know. Oh, soccer, soccer. I thought you talked about the Legion Championship. That's happening on uh, Saturday. League, League, League of Champions. Yeah. Oh, Champions it's League. Sunday. Okay, it's Champions League, not League of Champions. You threw me off with that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you said the other way. Oh, right? really? Okay. All right, brother. All right, take care, guys. Be safe.